go. So I just saw the Giants draft Daniel Jones, the quarterback out of Duke, sixth overall. I don't know what to say. Josh Allen was still on the board. Josh Allen, the pass rusher, the edge rusher, who we need, because our only edge rusher is Lorenzo Carter, was still on the board. And he went to uh, he went to the Jaguars in seven. Nobody could ever complain about our QB situation anymore. There's always people in the media, people that hate on the Giants that say, oh no, there's nobody behind Eli. Eli's already trash. Who are you going to have to replace him? I don't want to hear anything after this. But... Daniel Jones, are you serious? There's There's been leaks today, yesterday. There was a leak saying the Giants are taking Daniel Jones at 6. I was like, no way they're not. That's a smokescreen. They're probably going to take Haskins. They're probably saying that so a team could trade up and give us some more picks and we'll get Haskins. Drew Locke even. Two better quarterbacks were on the board, including the one I think is the best in the draft. Dwayne Haskins out of Ohio State was still on the board. The dude that posed in a Giants jersey and has been wearing Giants wear all year long saying, hey, I want to be drafted by the Giants all year long. And Daniel Jones, it's not like he's a terrible quarterback, but he's not worth the sixth overall pick. We could, he would have definitely been available at 17 and maybe even at 37. We could have gotten him there. We could have gotten our edge rusher here at 6 with Josh Allen and Dan Jones if they really love him that much at 17 because no other team is picking him up. There was no threat, nothing to go for him here. And now he could come out in what, like a year or two years depending how long they sit him and he could probably be good. Maybe he proves everybody wrong because I don't know a single Giants fan that wanted Daniel Jones. Maybe he comes out and proves every single one of us wrong and he turns out to be a great quarterback, but I don't know. As of right now, I'm a little angry and disappointed. I think it was a reach. I hope Dave Gellman knows what he's doing, especially since I had a video yesterday saying we should trust him. So you know what, for now I'm just going to trust him. Let's see what we do with 17. But I just hope to God we don't take DK Metcalf because it's not a position in need. Alright, so I had some time to think about the pick. Uh, no edits, no edits. Listen, yesterday I said trust Dave Gettleman. We we at what right now? The Falcons just made their pick. And I'm gonna just say it again, man. If they really believed this much in Daniel Jones, they had months upon months to do the research. There's been the Eli Manning, the Cutcliffe, Dave Gettleman connection throughout all this. If they really believed in this dude so much to take him over Haskins, who is dropping, so maybe you could put that at a testament to what teams really think about him and to take him over Drew Locke and Will Greer then what can I do but support the pick like I said he's not a bad player I just don't think he was worth that pick I, I strongly believe we could have gotten him in the second round and then picked up a great defensive player first but we got the quarterback of the future we got the successor I don't want to hear any more quarterback talk we if this is who they thought was best, then I'm going to trust them because every move before this that Dave Gellman has made has been for the team. So let's hope this dude develops into something great. I mean, shout out to the dude Fisk Vegas on YouTube. He he makes some good videos out there. He's saying basically the same thing I'm saying. I just checked it out. Um, We just got to trust the process, man. Trust in Gellman and trust that he's doing the right thing. I'll be back when we make the 17th pick. Alright y'all, I'm back, um, you might hear the TV in the background, that's because it just said on the bottom, you know, the pick is in. Um, hopefully it's not DK Metcalf, that's my only person I don't want, because we don't need a wide receiver. And literally, as soon as I was thinking that, they put up highlights of DK Metcalf on the TV. I don't know what to think anymore, I'll be back just now. Basically, I want, I want anybody but DK, I want Andre Dillard. Or Jawan Taylor. Jawan Taylor's still on the board, so give me an offensive tackle. Any defensive player that I want is already off the board. Brian Burns went right before us to Carolina, so I mean, if they see something in Dexter Lawrence, maybe. Jeffrey Simmons, I don't know. At this point, I'm just waiting for it to happen, but I think the best bet would, to go, would be to go with Andre Dillard. I think he's the best remaining offensive lineman on the board. Let's see what happens. The pick is in, let's hear it. Oh, 
they have somebody announcing it. Please be Andre Dillard. Okay, Dexter Lawrence. I'm happy with that. I said, yo, listen, if they see some Dexter Lawrence, I'm fine with it. I'm completely happy with it. Gettleman, yo, you, you, the, you the god for that. Because honestly, Lawrence and Christian Wilkins, you could decide between who's the better player. Wilkins went to Miami, I think. Yo, I'm happy with this. I'm good with it. At least we got somebody up the middle that could get to the quarterback. Now we got BJ Hill, Dalvin Thompson, and Dexter Lawrence on the front three. Yo, I'm fine with it. Still think it, we, we would have been better off with uh, Josh Allen and Dwayne Haskins. But hey, Daniel Jones could prove me wrong. I'm happy with Dexter Lawrence, though. Let's go, bro. Hopefully you and BJ could get some sacks. That's my instant reaction. That's the only thing I'm recording for this, y'all. Leave your comments down below. Peace.